Welcome to your weekly UAS news update. We have three stories for you this week, and this is the first of the year. So welcome to a new year of news updates. Uh, we have leaked pricing for the upcoming DJI Avada 360. The world record for the fastest drone has been shattered yet again. And then we have a lot of public safety uh, agencies doing good things with drones. So we're gonna tell you all about it. Let's get to it. And first up, thanks to a pricing table from a Chinese retail store, we have some ideas of what the final pricing of the DJI Avada 360 might be. Uh, and yes, the Avada 360 is already FCC approved, so you will be able to buy it in the United States and also fly it. Now, as far as the prices in China, the base drone is going to be 2,988 uh, yuan, but that doesn't really help you, uh, 426 US dollars. Uh, the standard combo with the Motion Controller 3 is about $569, and then the Fly more combo is uh, $811. Now, of course, uh, we know that these are not the prices that we're going to get here in the United States. Uh, based on DJI's history, we can expect 15 to 40% premium after the tariffs and uh, other different costs. So that puts it right around uh, $489 for the base drone. The Fly More combo is more likely to land right where the uh, DJI price point is of $999. That's typically what they do, which is about the same price as the Avada 2 when it launched. So that you know, gives us pretty much, I think, a good uh, estimation. Now, the big question here is, is it worth it for this drone? Uh, this is rumored to bring a true spherical 360 degree capture uh, from an FPV platform. There are also rumors that it could be under 250 grams, but like all rumors, we should take that with a grain of salt. I actually don't think it's gonna be, uh, doesn't actually make a whole lot of sense for it to be. Um, it seems to be also a direct challenger. That is not a question to the Insta360 and Tiger Gravity A1, and DJI is betting that the immersive 360 FPV that they're building is going to be compelling enough for people to swallow the price tag that we just mentioned. Now, for context, the price, the, the current pricing for the anti-gravity A1 is $15.99 to $19.99, depending on the combo that you get. So DJI seems to be coming at nearly half of the, that price. Uh, so it's going to be interesting to compare the two drones if we can get our hands on one of them or both of them. Next up, for all of you speed demons out there, uh, and also for FPV builders, the record for the world's fastest drone has been absolutely demolished. Luke Massimo Bell and his team have reclaimed the Guinness World Record with their Peregrine V4 drone, clocking an official speed of 408.6 miles per hour. 408 miles per hour, uh, that's 657 kilometers per hour. Uh, they took the record back from Benjamin Biggs. We talked about that couple weeks ago, it must have been a month or so ago, uh, who had the record at 389 miles per hour. Uh, that's really impressive, not only from the engineering perspective, but uh, it's more than just adding power. You would think, you know, it's just adding power. They actually did a full redesign that's focused on reliability and drag reduction. And then also they uh, tested three different motors, redesigned the 3D printed frame, uh, changed some material, and even changed the motor KV. Uh, this is an incredible engineering feat, quite frankly. Uh, think about how fast this thing is going. Uh, it shows what's possible when you focus on the tiny details. Uh, it's just awesome to see that the record continues to be uh, broken over and over again. And that's fast, but not as fast as this segue to our upcoming webinar. Now, this webinar is all about how to land a client in seven days, and it's on Tuesday, January 13th. Uh, if you're struggling to get your first client, this is perfect for you. Make sure that you pre-register if you want to attend. Uh, we're going to put a link down in the comments or in the description, and uh, hopefully we'll see you over there. And then last up this week, we have a bunch of Drones for Good stories uh, out of several places across the country. And I want to say a bunch, it's actually quite a few. Uh, I'm not going to give you all the details, but just, you know, making a point here. Uh, and I'm sure I'm going to butcher most of these names, but uh, I apologize if you're from that area. A hiker was rescued uh, using a drone in Chillicothe, uh, Ohio. Uh, we had a hiker in Oregon that was rescued also using a drone. We had a man with dementia in uh, Campbellsville, uh, Kentucky, that was located using a Matrice 30T. Uh, Skydio Exton was used to capture a man in Wichita after an armed robbery. We had a DJI Matrice 400 that was instrumental in a rescue in Michigan after a snowmobile broke through a lake and uh, through the lake ice, sending the two drivers, uh, the two riders, I guess, uh, in the water. We had a thermal drone used with a spotlight uh, to locate a man near uh, Westchester, Pennsylvania. And then finally, a Matrice 4T in Fisher, Indiana, that located a firearm after it was 
dumped by a suspect during a chase. So all these stories are proof again and again that drones have become uh, like another tool for public safety departments and that they do save lives and that they protect first responders. All right, that's it for this week. Make sure that you join us in the premium community for post flight. Uh, this is our, the uh, uncensored show where we share our opinion on all of the stories that we talked about here and it's not always suitable for YouTube. So we'll see you on Monday for the live and uh, have a great week. Mm -hmm.